1981, the CDC reported that five gay men were infected with a disease doctors had never seen before. AIDS has been referred to as a silent killer among the Latino community. It has triggered an epidemic of a rare form of cancer. It was on June 5th, 1981. The first cases of what would later become known as AIDS were reported. Those were dark moments. An AIDS diagnosis was a death sentence. In 2003, in response to the devastating impact HIV AIDS had on Hispanic Latino communities across the country, the Latino Commission on AIDS and the Hispanic Federation founded National Latino AIDS Awareness Day. Hoy, Día Nacional de Concientización Latina contra el National SIDA. Latino AIDS Awareness Day is October 15th. Ayudar a los hispanos a hacerse la prueba del SIDA. NLAD is a national community mobilization and social messaging campaign that raises HIV awareness and promotes HIV testing, prevention, treatment, and care. NLAD engages organizations throughout the U.S., Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands, and provides them with the tools and resources so they can develop their own events to address the needs of the communities they serve. Observed on October 15th, NLAD has solidified engagement from hundreds of organizations over the years, from local health departments to community-based organizations, from students' chapters to media networks. Every year, there are over 100 NLAD events that administer thousands of HIV tests across the United States. As the HIV field has evolved, so has the NLAD campaign. Initial awareness efforts focused on HIV testing and condom use. Now, NLAD promotes early treatment for those living with HIV, the use of PrEP as a prevention tool, and understanding viral suppression and U equals U, undetectable equals untransmittable. As we reflect on the history of HIV and the scientific progress in prevention, diagnosis, and treatment, we still have work to be done to support people with HIV reduce the number of new diagnoses, and address the impact of stigma, homophobia, transphobia, and xenophobia. They're all still major barriers in creating equity and accessing HIV services. It is time to act. It is time to end HIV.